Apple updated the operating system on millions of iPhones and iPads this week, and even if you didn't do anything, that update may have downloaded onto your phone while you were sleeping. Well, you woke up with Apple Intelligence doing all sorts of things, including taking up a lot of space and making your battery die quicker. Our consumer technology reporter, Jamie Tucker, explains. Not only did Apple install iOS 18.3 in millions of phones, it also turned on Apple intelligence by default. Now, you may love it, unless you don't, and there are reasons for both. First thing you'll notice is Siri lighting up around the outside of the phone when you call her name. Notifications appear with a synopsis or summary. You're going to see what the text message or email is without actually opening it. The camera and photo library have big changes. You can remove something in the background of a photo like this thing blocking the scenery, swipe your finger across it, and voila, it's gone. In the photos library, Apple Intelligence creates music videos of memories. And touch this button during a phone call to record it and save a transcript of the conversation. Apple Intelligence with ChatGPT composes messages, sending out invites to a Super Bowl party. Just add the details for a professional-looking evite. Notes has a lot of AI features as well. And in Safari, you see a very short summary of web pages and emails to help you decide whether they're worth reading. A lot of good features for some of us, but... Apple intelligence has drawbacks. It uses a lot of space on a phone, and with it running, the battery will not last as long during the day. Apple turned this on by default after the update, but you can turn it off. Go into Settings, down to Apple Intelligence and Siri, and toggle it off. You'll still have Siri, but the Apple Intelligence features will not work. So if you don't need Apple Intelligence, or you'll never use it, but you do need better battery life, you can turn it off. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.